Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna go over the Rabid Relic Challenge in Destiny 2's Vault of Glass Raid, and a super easy way to do that. If you like the video, if you find value out of it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hop in my Discord, and we can talk about future videos. I really appreciate it. So again, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the easiest way I personally feel to do the Rabbit Relic Challenge. So there's probably a lot of different ways to do it. The real key to the challenge is that you can only kill Praetorians with damage, super damage, from the Relic. So the only problem with that is Praetorians will show up on both sides and there's timeouts on when you can go through. So if you have it, you have to wait 30 seconds, you have to give it to someone else. The problem with that is when they get that Relic, so let's say they go through that 30 seconds, then their super won't be available and they'll take them a little bit to get that. And in that period of time, you'll actually have Praetorians that go and sacrifice on the conflict. So that, that presents a challenge. If you're really, with a really good team, has really good timing, you could probably pull this off. But there's probably an easier way to do it, and that's what I'm going to go over. So the easiest way I see to do that is, first off, you need to have as many people with stasis as possible. Hopefully, you have as many Warlocks with Bleak Watcher who can continuously freeze the enemies on either Mars or Venus. Have two people with Bleak Watcher go into one side without the Relic, okay? Have another two people go in the other side. So again, Mars, Venus, you guys pick with one person with Bleak Watcher, or something else if you want to, and the Relic. And then you'll have two people on plates. So then the people who don't have the Relic on their side, their job the entire time is just to keep everything frozen, take out all the ads, and then continuously as it's frozen, you can push that Praetorian back towards the end, don't push him off, push him back towards the room as much as possible. And then on the opposite side, the team that's in there, the person with the Relic, and then the other person, they basically take care of the ads, do the things they need to do. And then when you get to a certain point, I think once you get through uh, you get through six waves of this, then actually the ads will stop spawning. Once you've confirmed that on both sides, then what you simply need to do is on the on the side that you still have the frozen Praetorian, let your bleak watchers go away, let him get unfrozen, let him start moving again, have the person with the relic again, make sure the person with the relic has their super and have them take him out, and that will get you through the first part. Now, one of the keys with this that you need to be very careful about is that it's very easy to use a super and not completely kill the um, Praetorian. So what I would recommend is that when you get ready to kill any of the Praetorians, that you basically get right in front of him. In other words, if he's on the stairs, you know, push him back. If he's on the stairs, wait till he's on a flat surface, and then get right in front of him and use it, because you can accidentally hit it to the side, or only get him with splash damage, and that's not gonna kill him, and then you'll have a problems and you won't pass the challenge. Once you're through this, then everyone's going to go back outside, and you're gonna have the same sort of issue. You're going to have Praetorians basically coming from three different directions. So again, I would recommend having a stasis person put down a turret, and probably not multiple, right? But at least one turret, and then freeze those guys as they're coming in. And then basically, if you split up two and two on each side as you're killing the other adds, continuously push them on the right, center, and left out. Because that way, while you're killing the other adds, you can keep those Praetorians up. When you're comfortable you killed all the adds and you're in a good position, then you can have the relic person, you know, take one of them out, refreeze one, refreeze the other two, and keep doing that until you're done. And when you complete that, you've done the challenge. Again, there's probably tons of other ways to do this, but for my fire team, this was the easiest way. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump into my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.